This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. I know we've kind of missed a week, I'll explain in a moment, but this week we're keeping it really chill, if you can't already tell. I'm, in, I'm just having one of those days, guys. I'm having one of those days, I'm having one of those weeks, I'm having one of those months. But what we're gonna do today is I have three trays of this beautiful philodendron SP tropicals, right? They're a bit gammy, they're a bit nasty, but I need to get them propagated and maybe some of them I might mark to sell, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do it on a plant by plant basis. So if there's some really cute ones and they have a nice amount of leaves and they just look cute, I'll sell them as is. If not, they're getting propagated today. I might not do all the potting on camera because it's very noisy, but I will, at the minimum, I will do all the cutting on camera. So what you can't see is, there's this here, there's two more behind me, two trays that are nearly full. I'll start with this one. Um, the trays are a bit gammy, they've got a bit of algae in them. It is what it is. They do get cleaned out. They can't be cleaned out weekly. That would be, God, that would be a job in itself, just to clean every tray out. They maybe get done monthly. Sometimes if there's no buildup, we'll leave them a bit longer. They're definitely due a clean. So before they go back into trays today, this tray will get scrubbed out and refreshed. So you won't see any of that part, but you will see the cutting. So I think what I'm gonna do is I will get my gloves on, we'll talk about some stuff and we'll just go through it and I will just start by depotting them and we'll just give them a snippety snip and then we'll pile them up. And if there's something I like, I'm gonna keep it separately. I might check the roots anyway, but I'll keep it separate. So, I'm gonna get these on and we're gonna go through some of the usual questions. Now then, just to let everyone know, because I feel like every so often I get certain comments on these specific videos, these repot videos, of people saying, oh, you're not talking about plants, oh, I came here for plants. Yes, the rest of my channel is pretty much plant talk. When we get to these videos, guys, if you're new to these videos, basically we talk about, not that we can't talk about plants, but we talk about other shit generally, can be anything. If there's something going on in the plant community, Obviously, you know, I'll talk about it, but a lot of the times it's you guys asking me stuff about me. If you don't want to hear me talk about me, I guess I'm saying, then maybe this isn't the video for you. Or if you just want to have only plant chat, for example, this is probably not the video for you. Because I have questions today and looking at them, uh, there is like, there's one question about plants, one. So there you go, in about six questions. So just to let you know. Right, we're gonna put these gloves on and we will get to it. Hopefully my ring does not tear the glove because it, it loves to do it. It loves to do it. Oh, and with the theme of the video, because this video is maybe arguably a little bit more personal. The questions are a little bit more personal this time because I did say make it juicy. Um, I'm not married, by the way, guys. A lot of people see this on my hand and they think I'm married. This, this is my, what do you call it? A marriage hand? The ring finger hand. This is just a nice ring that I wear. I'm not married or anything like that. So anyway... Just get these on. And I think I'm going to have to, I don't know, you know, cause I don't want this big tray here cause it can't work. So I might just have to pull them out by on a case by case basis and just put this on the floor and depot them. And once I've depotted them, I'll go through them and give them a chippity chop. And we'll just have to pile them up. So eventually you'll see a beautiful big pile of plants here. So we'll do that. So, I mean, that's just deed. I'll keep that as it is, cause it's looking a bit gammy. I might keep the green ones as is, or at least leave them till near the end and we'll just cover the really good ones. So for example, this one is good. So I'll just unpot that. And where can I put the pots? Sorry guys, I'm literally just getting situated. Yeah, clearly I'm gonna have to move this. I wonder if I can move it to one side for now. That seems like a good idea, right? Because then at least you can see it. Oh my God, did I really just do that? I really did just do that. I literally put, I don't know if you can see that. I put the edge of the tray on top of a leaf, but it's okay, we're okay. Right then, let me get your questions. Oh, I may as well start with the elephant in the room actually. So normally um, people ask me about my tattoo journey thing, whatever I have planned and um, Normally, I would come on these videos and be like, hi, I'm wearing a temporary tattoo or whatever. Not today, my friend, not today. I actually went and got the real tattoo. So a few people asked me about that, actually. So I wanted to talk about that. Oh, I can't propagate that. One moment, guys, sorry. Oh, he's quite big. Let's, uh, let's take him out. Oh, I love these plants, right? Let me just level with you about this plant. And I do go on about it all the time, but this is why, right? So pause on the tattoo. This shop right now looks like absolute hell, right? It's really bad. I've been away and I should start with that actually, but I've been away recently traveling and I've come back and it's not done well. It's not done well. Everything ran out of water. Things just look really, really bad. Now these in places look a bit shit, these plants, right? But the roots, always good. 
always good. They hold their own. When I say these plants are tough and they're just fantastic to propagate, I honestly mean it, guys. They're just... I could pull out so many other plants in this shop that will not look like this right now. Half of them will be bloody half rotted. It's just... Oh, they're such incredible plants. I love them to death. But anyway, yeah, so I've, I've been away. Don't worry, we are coming back to the tattoo. I should have started with this. My bad. I've been away recently to... Well, I actually went to the Netherlands to go to the flower show, the flower show, the trade show anyway. Um, so I was there for a couple of days and then I've been back and then just my personal life's doing better at the moment. So I've been doing more things that aren't plenty, if that makes sense. So there's a few reasons why I've been away. I've just been struggling to catch up with work. Not only that, I've been ill two to three times now, almost in a row. Um, one of them was COVID. I think you guys knew about that. I told you about it. I've just been ill recently as well. Um, I don't know if that was COVID or not because I never got to test for it because the test kits were here and I was at home. So I could have had COVID again. I don't know. Other than that, it's just been a really bad... Could you call it a cold, maybe? Whatever you would tend to call it. Well, I might keep that as it is. I feel like everyone gets that shit this time of year, to be honest. But I've been really, really ill. Ooh, okay. Not roots where I'd want them, but still. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Been a bit busy, been a bit busy. Right, so anyway... Let's get back to it, shall we? Le tattoo. So, I know a few people are gonna ask me about it anyway, because you always do. Oh, there's a, there's a rogue Delta Force in here. Oh no, it's not, it's Delta Four. It says Delta Four. That's what it is. I wonder why that's gone in there. So yeah, a few people have been asking me about my tattoo here and there, um, when I've been wearing temporaries on my arm and stuff in videos. Um, I'll recap super quickly for those of you that did not see it. Basically, I wanted the tattoo to kind of cover the scars that I have on my arm from, oh God, for a long time ago. I'm 34 years old now. Yes, really. Um, most of my scars are from the age of maybe 15. So, I mean, 13 to 21 era. So we'll just take an, an average in the middle, say 15, something like that, 15, 16. Um, and I had quite bad scars on my arms. Now, they've never really bothered me. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I'm not, I'm not adverse to having my arms out or anything like that. But I think the more I've gone to the gym and the more I've tried to to not change but like work on myself a little bit more the more I was like oh what a shame do you know what I mean so I'm not ashamed of them as such and I'm not I've tried to explain this before but it, the tattoo isn't a bad thing it's actually a really good thing it means I care more about my body now so I wanted to put something cool there and <laughs> oh the tattoo thing I'll start by telling you what it is before I talk more about it so if you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop and it's working really, really well for me. Squarespace have so many templates. They're not dated looking, they're not all the same with just the fonts and colors switched out, out. They're really unique. You're bound to find a layout that really appeals to you as a starting point. Then, of course, you can customize and go from there. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from me, guys. Back to the video tell you more about why I've got it as well because there is more to it than that oh there's a teeny bit of rot on this one that's quite shocking I mean there will be in places because they have been uh, neglected is an understatement so yeah so what I got on my forearm because that's where it had to be at the moment it is you can't really see it I don't know if you can see it from a distance but it is a snake with a peony around my arm like this and it's going to be bigger I'm going to extend it and I will probably have a sleeve here now I don't need a sleeve by the way there's nothing there's no like scar up here or anything but I just really like the idea of a sleeve so I'm probably gonna have a sleeve um my rule for my tattoos is basically nature-based so I'll have anything nature-based I don't want anything else on me that isn't in that general rule that gives me a lot of scope though and in terms of before anyone asks me like oh what did what does the snake mean for you and stuff like that it doesn't mean anything 
I'll be straight up, I feel like a lot of people get tattoos because they they go for the meaning and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But for me, it was literally just, I like this aesthetically, I'm going to put it on me. I know a few people say that if you get tattoos at a certain age when they mean something to you, we grow and change so much as people. The, the meaning can change for you and then you can like not identify with your tattoo anymore. Whereas I thought if it's something that I aesthetically like, then it's fine. So I've gone for that. I, uh... I didn't have any... There's like a... What, how could you say it? There's a process that a lot of people go through when they get tattoos and they say like you get a tattoo and you get like the shock of having it sort of thing. Now, I've recently had another tattoo fixed on my hip that you won't have known about. Um, a really old tattoo that I've got covered up. I'll probably put a picture in of what I've got now. But it's a tattoo of three birds that I've got. And at the time I got that, I was a bit like, oh God, you know, it's, it's bigger than I thought. Oh God. I actually didn't get that with this one. I didn't get that with this one at all. I think it's because I'm used to putting temporaries on. So by the time something real went on, it's just like, yeah, well, I've had stuff on my arm for ages. So my advice actually to anyone that wants a tattoo, specifically to be honest, because it might not apply for everyone, but if it's specifically to cover something like a scar or something that bothers you, birthmark, I, I don't know. Honestly, put temporary tattoos on. Now for me, I just put any old temporary tattoo on that was kind of floral and sort of nondescript because I knew that's generally what I wanted, but I wasn't, I wasn't precious about what the temporary tattoo was. Um, I was trying to be reasonably accurate with the size and stuff, but when like I bought temporary tattoos off Amazon kind of thing and just stuck them on. But that has really helped me because I just stuck them on. I stuck them on for when I'd go to parties and stuff like that. And I stuck them on even just regular everyday life, like to go to the gym, to go and do whatever. And I just wore them all the time. I mean, I obviously had breaks in between, but a lot of the time I wore them and it did get to the point where I was like, right, I'm fine to have something there. Because for me, it was like, is the tattoo going to distract from it? or is it going to draw attention to it? So for me, I already knew before I got this design, basically that it would it would be good for me. I still expected to have the shock because it's, I mean, it's quite big really. It's probably not big on someone else, but in terms of like my body and my forearm, because I'm a small person, it's reasonably sized, you know? It hasn't covered all the scars, by the way. You're not gonna be able to see this very well. You know, I can show you, why not? We're here, right? I wasn't gonna come up to the camera with it, but I will. Can you see it here? It was literally done two days ago, so it looks a bit weird, that's probably why. There's scars sort of here that it hasn't covered, which is fine by me. One, I'm going to add little bits here anyway, but two, I wasn't necessarily after like full coverage as such. It was more about um, just distracting from it. Like I don't expect to cover every scar and I don't wanna have to shoehorn a design to cover everything and whatnot. So that's more what it was about for me. But it's weird, you know, because this isn't just the overall theme of the video today, but it's like the overall theme of my entire life at the moment, right? And this won't be something, anything you know about because I haven't talked about it. But my entire life at the moment is about doing the things I've always wanted to do and be before people influenced me or, or pushed me down a different route in life, if that makes sense. And I've been joking on, I've been saying it's like my teenage years 2.0 because I feel like I'm rebelling because I'm doing things that I know everybody absolutely does not want me to do, but I'm enjoying it a lot. So that's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. And that is genuinely like the vibe of my entire existence at the moment. And I'm, I'm absolutely loving life. I'm gonna leave these because they're actually quite green. We'll go through these first. Let me just put this here. Actually, we'll do, we'll do a bit more. Why not? Let's just have a look. Whoa, is it quite heavy? Oh, used to not be able to lift those, you know, when they had a bit of water in them. Ridiculous. Oh, well, to be fair, they are quite heavy. They must be about at least 20 kilograms. Gotta be, surely. Really fucking heavy. Anyway, um, yeah, so at the moment I'm focusing, I'm focusing, I can't speak today. I'm focusing on kind of being who I should have been um, all those years ago. And some of that is tattoos in a way. So it's not just to cover it. There's, there's a few things really. I've, uh, oh God, I don't want to get too deep with it. And I know my parents are probably watching. So I am going to be mindful of them watching, you could say. Sorry, there's gnats in here. For fuck's sake, for fuck's sake. How do you live among the lecker? How do you manage? But I've always wanted tattoos, right? I've always wanted piercings and things like that. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not trying to drop you in it, parents. But like my parents put very heavy emphasis on not doing those things. And honestly, I, I don't really regret not doing those things earlier. And I was talking about this the other day. In terms of tattoos, right? I'm 34 years old and I've just started getting tattoos. I actually think that's brilliant. 
I actually think that's brilliant. And this is the only place where me and my parents will like different opinions because my parents would still say, no, absolutely not, don't get them. But I would like to think that a lot of people would go, oh, it's good that you waited because now you don't have like random shit on your body sort of thing. Um, because my, my parents, I think, was it my mum, bless her, uh, not Maddie. Um, my mum said when I was thinking about getting the forearm tattoo ages ago, like before I started putting temporaries on, because um, it was a long time ago now, it was what, summer? So I waited a good while to do this. She said, oh, but it'll ruin your arm. And I'm like, yeah, but like, to me, like, my arm was already kind of ruined, right? Because of all the, the stuff years ago, all the self-harm and stuff. So it was just a bit like, yeah, but like, you don't, you're not seeing it from my point of view. And at the end of the day, obviously, it's my body and whatever else. But yeah, so this this whole thing, the tattoo thing, I, I don't think my, my parents are going to be buzzing. Sorry, parents. Dad might not even know about this. I don't know. I don't know if mom's told you, but here you are, dad. I have a tattoo now. It's quite large and it will offend you probably, definitely, because I know it's probably the last thing you wanted to see on my body. But yeah, I just, I want it for me and I love it. I already feel so much better with it and I can't wait to add to it, to be honest. Having a great fucking time with it. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a theme of my life at the moment. I'm doing all kinds of things that I've always wanted to that, I don't know. I don't want to say other people have stopped me, but I have to be honest with myself and say that they have. And I'm not... I'm not targeting my parents here. There's loads of people over loads of different things in my lifetime. Um, I really can't get too in-depth with it now. I think it's a video for my second channel another time, maybe in about six months, I would say, um, where I can fully divulge what I'm actually talking about. Those of you that are incredibly perceptive might be able to see certain things in this video and then guess, I don't know. Speaking of riddles now, probably shouldn't do that. Probably shouldn't do that. Sorry, I'm just having a little pick of these roots. I've got a bit distracted. There's a couple of bits of rot on some of them, but not all of them. A lot of them are absolutely clean. But when I say bits of rot, I mean very, very minimal. There's like one strand of root or something that's just died to death. So it's kind of good that we're doing this. Oh, that's quite nice one, you know. That's quite sellable. <sighs> Might keep this one. You see that? That's quite nice. That's a new leaf. Oh, I think we'll sell that, you know. I think that's a good idea. I'm sure you would agree if you were here, guys. I'm sure you'd agree. It's really nice. Is that the new leaf? No. Doesn't look very propagatable either. What's this one like? Mm, I would say propagatable, but it's got a new leaf coming. I, I don't like to do that when that occurs. So yeah, that's the tattoo thing, but honestly, it goes way deeper than that. Oh, I also got my ears pierced recently, which sounds so mundane, and believe me, it is, but I never had my ears pierced in my entire life because I was terrified of doing so. So I thought, hey, I got my tattoo covered up on my hip and then I thought fuck this I should probably pierce my ears so I've done that too we're, we're getting there guys we're getting there so if you see some changes happening over the next few months uh that is why I haven't lost my mind or anything I'm just god life's too short you know what I mean I found this out like I don't know maybe in the last 12 months I've just kind of found out that I don't have to live my life the way that life tells you to. It just doesn't have to be that way. And that's not really who I am at all. So I don't want to live that way. So I'm going to live life my way. And for every person that says I'm a bad influence right now, I'm sure there's plenty of people that would not say that because I think everyone should live their life how they want. As long as they don't hurt anybody else and it's not done with malice or bad intention or anything like that, you should live your life how you want. I don't think you have to get married and have kids and do all that if you don't want to. Not saying I wouldn't do it. Well, I don't think I would have kids, but you get my point. So I just want to live life my way and that's all it is. Um, don't know how my parents are going to deal with that. So I guess I'm telling you guys now so you can uh, you can think about it before Christmas. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, you know what? So many of these are greener than I thought they were. But I'm going to have to cut them even though they're green because I don't necessarily trust that it's coming back. If you feel me, that one's okay. So what is the next question? I'll, I'll round that off by saying we will talk about this more because I have so much to say on this subject, it's ridiculous. And I know you asked me about my tattoo, but it goes way deeper than the tattoo. Feel me? Um, so we'll talk about this more and in the next report you can ask me some more specific questions if you want. Um, but I will end that by saying there will be more here and I don't know how fast it's going to develop. Um, I'm going to book in in a month I think and have, because this is quite bare and this isn't, I kind of fancy adding some more floral work here and stuff like that. So you might just see the tattoo just sort of grow across my body. Um, but I'll do a video on it eventually or something or we can talk about it more on reports. But that is the tea anyway. I didn't pick it for a meaning. I picked it because I like it. C'est la vie. Right then. Next question. So I feel like I really rambled about that. I am sorry, guys. I normally save the rambling to like further in the video, but 
we're here. Where is this? Team you. Oh, get lost, Team you. Does any anyone else on Plant YouTube get loads of emails from Team you asking you to work with them? Because honestly, the, it's it's actually quite aggressive marketing. I will say that. I've had an email there. Probably got an email a few days ago. Then a few weeks ago, I've had them continuously. And it's like I haven't replied to emails, guys. I don't really want to work with you. Do you know what I mean? But. I don't also want to send an email back going, no thanks. So what do you do? What do you do? Right, next question. Let me just have a little drink because why not? Get it from here. Gotta love another energy drink. Mm. Oh, before we do that, you might have already screamed at the TV. I don't know. It depends how observant you are. This t-shirt, this lovely, admittedly extra large t-shirt coming very soon. Might be new merch. Might be new merch. I just have not had the time to pop it up. So I will tell you about it and I will show you the design properly, probably next week. Just, this is like, just pretend you haven't seen it basically because I wore it not realizing and now you know. So I will show you that probably next week and I will explain why I went for what I went for. Right, let's keep going, let's keep going. So yes, next question, probably a quicker question really is, let me check on the time. Ooh, that was a long one. The horse. I'll not um I'll not take too long on this because it was basically just people asking me like how's it going? How are you doing? Are we gonna see a video? Blah blah blah. So um this one isn't a long question really. Um if you want to see a video on the horse, please write a comment. Just say horse please or horse or something like that, right? You don't have to write a full comment, that's fine. Um so I can tally it up. Um so I think if I did do a video on the horse, it, I, obviously I'm going to put it on the second channel. I don't think anybody needs to care here. I'd obviously let you know when it was out, of course, um, via like Instagram or whatever, if that's what people want. Um, because I can tell you the story of buying him and how he is and everything, few photos, few videos. I don't really have videos of me riding him, funny enough, because there's only me and the horse. I haven't really got anyone to video me much. So <laughs> there's not much of that. There's me, I do have a very funny video of me trying to jump on him. I don't jump. And I had a, a semi-jumping lesson a few weeks ago now. That was, that was hilarious actually. So I have the odd video, the odd clip, but it's, I mean, I'm still, I don't want to say I'm novice. I'm out of novice now, obviously. I think novice encapsulates quite a lot, but I, I really would like to say that I'm out of that now. And I do think that my, my friends would say that as well. But anyway, he's doing great. He's doing really great. He's lovely as ever. I haven't been up to see him as much. I haven't been able to get there. I have not been able to get there because semi-driving update intermingled. I have a test booked for early January and I'm hoping that I pass. But until then, I'm just struggling to get anywhere, guys. I'm really, really struggling. I struggle to get here. It's not going well in that sense. I don't have much of a freedom to come here when I want to, which is probably why things are in the state that they're in. So I'm not doing so well on that front. So I haven't seen him anywhere near as much as I should. Just to remind everyone, my horse is on full livery. So he is absolutely cared for around the clock, like food, muck out, turn out, everything, grooming, the whole thing. So don't be worried about it. Um, and this is why I put him on full livery so that I can do that. Oh, that could be a sellable one. Could it be a sellable one? Two seconds, sorry. I know I have the attention span of a squirrel. That's quite cute. I might put that to sell. It's not as good as the other one, but hey ho. Um, but if you want a video on explaining who he is, why he is, how he is, then I will, I might try and put that out over the December period. So if you could let me know now, that'd be excellent. And I will start to plan that because I'll have to just make a little like document of bullet points to go through. Cause it was obviously a while ago now. I've had him for a year now, I think, roundabout. Uh, no, I haven't. It's not been a year yet. I need about another month or so. And then it's, I've had him that long. So really, really looking forward to telling you about it. If you want to know. I'm gonna have to leave that, you know. I want to propagate some of these, but they just look not very propagatable because some of them look sellable. I'm trying not to knock my mic because that's lovely, that. That's really cute. This one here has a bit of variegation there. Then we have that there and the new one is there. That has nothing on it, but it's cute, right? I think that's sellable. I'll keep that as there is. I have to stop... Um, hogging them a little bit because I have so many and they propagate so fast. I just have too many. Like I bought one plant and I've got three trays and they keep getting bigger and I have sold them here and there. So I need to get rid of them. Yeah, if you want to know about the horse, write a comment. We'll do it then. But there's not much to say other than all is well, he is well. I wish I could see him more. Hopefully that'll change in the future. That's basically the horse update. Ooh, oh God, everyone's asking me about my pets. <laughs> the cats, the cats. We'll do the cats quickly before I get into the meaty question because there is one. Let me just start and stop this because I don't want it to cut off. There we go. Put that back. Right, the cats are great. I don't know if I ever mentioned a problem with Teddy. Um, he gets a little bit territorial and he likes to wee on things. And I thought it would get better since he's, they've both been neutered, by the way. Um, and it, it is better, but it's not gone yet. So I have a lovely big, and if my parents are watching this, they're going to die. They're going to die. <laughs> but I have a lovely Koya doormat. 
that Teddy occasionally likes to wee on, so that's nice. Um, the only other place he has occasionally weed that I've caught uh, is the bed. The bed. He has weed on the bed twice, and I, I have the best mattress on planet Earth, and he's weed on it twice. So I might have to start putting a mattress protector on it that is uh, waterproof. So that's fun. But if you take that away, they're both wonderful. Their temperament has stayed, their cuddliness has stayed. Billy used to be a bit more of a terrorizer than Teddy was, but they're actually, they're both quite mellow now. Um, when they play, it's definitely Billy chasing Teddy and stuff like that, so he's definitely more confident, should we say? But generally speaking, they're both exactly the same. They're just older and fatter, and they're definitely fatter. The one update, I guess, to give you, and I probably will do a proper video on the cats again, and that'll probably go on my main channel just because I introduced them to you on my main channel. Um, but the the one major update is that we're pretty sure Billy is fawn and not lilac. Now, they always look different colours, and I think I've said this before, but I think as they've grown older, it's really apparent because I've looked at photos of them as kittens and I'm like, oh, it looks slightly different. But now as adult cats, they're not adults at all. They're not even one year old, but you get what I mean. They're kind of more established. You can really see the color difference. And I spoke to my breeder. She spoke to her breeder and she reckons that Billy is indeed fawn. So that's kind of cute. So I think I have a lilac and a fawn British short hair, not two lilacs. Let me know what you think. I do have an Instagram for them. I think it's the wild felines. It's obviously a take off the wild stallions from Bill and Ted. Obviously, they're named Bill and Ted. Um, I have an Instagram for them. I'll just pop it up now on the screen. There's a picture on there that's quite recent that you can really, there's a couple that you can really see the difference in colour. I might just put a picture up anyway. It's probably easier for you. Um, so you can see there's some differences there. But other than that, I will give you a full on update on like their personality what they like what they don't like because like they're brothers but they have different play styles different eating habits different ways of sitting near you or around you or the way that they like affection and stuff like that so it would be really cool to do a video on them maybe I don't know if Christmas is too early maybe I don't know I'll think about it I'll think about a good time to put that out but you'll get a nice update on them with some videos and stuff like that I should take more videos of them I've kind of stopped at the moment oh this is nice did I pick this up before I'm having deja vu no I think that that could be a nice one to sell though. Obviously pending root checks, but I think that could be quite nice. Oh, I hope I'm not. Oh, I shouldn't have put necklaces on with my mic. Sorry if that's been really irritating you. But anyway. Right. So what was the next question? Cats we've done. Ooh, there's some relationship stuff that you guys are asking me. And then a bit about TC Delta Force. So I don't know what you'd want first, really. We can do a bit of TC Delta Force because why not? Let's just let's just tackle it. So there's not a lot to tackle, really. So a few people said, like, what do you think about TC Delta Force? I, I think, did someone, what did you say to me? It was something to do with specifically the prices in the US have dropped. And some people are not going to like the conversation we're about to have at all, because some people are really funny about tissue culture. And I've made no secret of this over the past, Jesus, I don't know how many years, that tissue culture is ultimately a good thing. In my opinion, it is ultimately a good thing. For reasons I've discussed, a lot of it is, um, the, the less, how could you put it? Can't articulate very well today. You can tell I haven't filmed in a while. There's less pressure or, and less requirement for things like poaching and stuff like that. It also makes things much more affordable. In the case of something, e.g. like Delta Force, where literally there was one plant, guys. I don't know if anybody knows this, but they, it's come from one plant, one mother, the proper one anyway. You're preserving that one plant, right? Because if it just died, then we'll never have it again. And the Delta Force has actually got some some level of historical significance, I would say. So th that's, that's why I think TC is good. I'm not going to go into that part of it. I'm more just going to go into the prices. Although, to be fair, I probably will also go into why it's good, inevitably, in the conversation. But all, all I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to be... Um, ugh, I cannot articulate. I'm not trying to drive home like, yes, you should buy TC. TC is superior or anything like that. It's not the conversation we're about to have. But basically, the question was prices... Actually, I'm gonna... Sorry, I am gonna <laughs> continue what I've just said. I'm just gonna go through what I've got first before I pick those up. Ooh, heavy. Make sure that doesn't catch my mic. Right. The conversation was about prices and them going down and stuff. And what I will say is this is very inevitable for nearly any houseplant ever, whether it's TC or not, right? This is going to happen. And the reason prices have come down, actually, I might take a bit of responsibility on this one because some of the reason actually might be due to me. Not sure. Not in like a haha -ha way, just in a brutally honest way. So things like this tend to happen because I'm just going to be, I'm just going to completely level with you on how it tends to be with high powered plants, right? 
particularly things that can be tea seed, so not everything can. Variegates, less so, because yes, we know that the Thai manufacture them, but it's to tea seed that, it's got to be done by brute force. So if you clone a variegated plant, doesn't mean the clones are going to be variegates, right? It's kind of like propagating something. Well, it, it is propagating something, literally. So this happens less with variegates, but more with things like spiritus, right? And I'll use spiritus sancti as an example, because maybe not everyone's up to date with the Delta Force thing, right? So in the case of spiritus sancti, everyone's like, wow, super rare, blah, blah, blah. I think we had, did we have like the vice documentary on it or whatever it was on, I think, well, did it just come out on YouTube? I don't know. We had that and it was like, oh, super rare, whatever, whatever, whatever. Meanwhile, guys, obviously someone has one. Poached, bought, whatever, someone has one. I can't remember if it was in Thailand, Indonesia, or even China, where it started getting pumped out. I mean, obviously the tile have got a good head start on it. They always do, spoiler alert. They're usually the quickest, but China's catching up, I think. So they will have bought it the whole time while everyone's just getting hyped up and they'll be very quiet about it. And this will happen. And this might tarnish my career and my effectiveness in this industry by saying it, but I'm going to say it anyway. What happens is they will sit and sit and sit and sit on a plant till they have enough of it to flood or to control the market. Once they have enough, say in the case of the Spiritus Sancti, they will say something because they know they're getting the very top um, top layer of the cake, the top skim of the demand, and they will be able to sell it for the most, but they can just shill it out, right? Now, where I think, if, if the, in this, I'm not blaming anybody here. This, someone was always going to do this. This is life. Not saying whether I agree or disagree with it. This is life. People do this. But the, the, the way that I think y'all went wrong, whoever it was at the top, was I think a lot of people start to flex. And I am talking about the spiritus here. Don't worry, I will, I will make my point. And I, pro I might not propagate while I'm saying all this because I will lose my train of thought because I'm not very good at this today. But they flexed that they had a ton of it, right? Big flex. A lot of you might remember on Facebook, people going, oh, look, I've got thousands. And then one person went, right, but it's not rare now then. And then everyone, what happened was everyone just sat and waited for the price to drop. And from that single point in time where someone made that error, error. Now TC goes a certain way, right? Whenever something comes out, a lot of people just say, say quite openly online, I'll wait for that to go to TC. I'll wait for the price to drop because everything does. Everything does drop because of TC. And this is why I think TC can be good. It's fucking great if you're at the top. It's not so good if you're at the bottom. You can still make profit at the bottom, but you kind of, you're scraping the barrel a little bit. Fine. It's kind of the same thing as a food chain. It is what it is. But I think where they went wrong with the spiritist thing was they were like, yeah, look, I got thousands, 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 thousands. And they were flexing because as I say, it was 2020, 2021, I think it was. People were like, oh my God. And people just wanted to, I don't know, there was this weird turn in 2020 where everyone was a bit more, it really felt like they were a bit more self-absorbed and they wanted like the attention from it kind of thing. And I think a lot of people got cocky. And as a result, it sort of unveiled the, the real beast that TC can be because prior to this, it was kept a bit more hush-hush right? Thai Constellation, one star Thai Constellation. I have too many. Will I ever sell them? Fuck knows, right? Past caring. But that, yes, we, it's weird, isn't it? We knew they were TC. If you think back to like 2019, 2020, we, we knew they were tissue cultured, right? We knew. But it was never really rammed in front of our face, right? And it's the other reason why a lot of people, I get nasty emails all the time about TC, right? Well, I'd like to know, right? Y'all are buying tissue cultured stuff from garden centers, from everything. I fucking guarantee you, anything you've bought from a garden center or a plant shop is tissue cultured. It is what it is, guys. It's always going to be that way. I don't understand why people have it on their high horse. Oh, well, I don't want TC. So half of your collection is probably TC. Because even the people that sell TC from abroad, a lot of the times they won't say it's TC because now they know that all of the internet doesn't like the fact it's TC. So all they're going to do is just shut up and say it's seed grown, right? Quite honestly, it's hard to tell what is seed grown and what isn't anymore. I have to just take it as it is. I won't specifically buy something seed grown over TC. I just won't because it... The seed grown thing could be TC. And now, instead of saying, I have not a lot of this plant, you must pay more for it, growers are now going, seed grown, seed grown. And y'all are just buying it anyway. Like, I don't really get where that's come from. But I do know, I think I know where the whole TC is weak thing has come from. It's come from someone saying something on the internet. I think it was the Raphidophora tetrasperma. Oh, you know, this is TC, it's weaker. Ah, oh, I'm not going to go into it, but essentially TC is as strong as the mother plant, nothing more.
right? Yes, they can get weaker over time. Not saying they can't, you usually need a few different mothers. But in the case of something like Delta Force, you're only getting one mother, guys, because Delta Force is a one-off. It's a one-off. You're only ever going to have one mother. If you want to buy a seed-grown Delta Force, go for it. Like, I'm growing seeds all the time, all the time, and they're getting bigger. This one is the, is it, um, is it even Lecunera? I keep saying it is. That other weird Clarinervium looking thing and Delta. Like I've got literally loads of these just growing different things. I have full deltas. I have all sorts of stuff here. And then I bought in some tissue culture. But when I say I bought in some tissue culture, that TC is actually from my mother. I sent it to TC. I sent it to TC a year ago, maybe. And I'm coming all back around to this, by the way. This is it's something I wanted to talk to you about anyway, because I'm, I'm very big on just addressing the elephant in the room. I've addressed far worse in my time. But a lot of people were angry at me for selling tissue culture Delta Force and not saying it was tissue cultured. Now, I'll take that as feedback and in the future I will do that if if it's super important. My my model for not doing so was well one the price because I've I've undercut everybody. And I've undercut everybody because I produced the Delta Force myself. That's how I'm able to uncut people. I'm literally telling you shit that Ben will probably be annoyed at me for telling you, but I'm going to tell you anyway, right? The reason the price has probably come down in the US is because mine is really low. And when Delta Force hit the market, it hit it high. So when the Delta Force lot came in about a month later, I could drop the price. And I did do. So the fact that they were so cheap, I, I maybe that's, you know, I'll take that as a seller. Like, I just thought it'd be self-explanatory. Like, how could it drop that much? If, if you honestly give me the honest feedback that, hey, you should say something, I hold my hands up and I will do better and I will label that next time. I, sorry, I got an itchy, really itchy lip. I will, I'll do better. I'll do that going forward. So if you want to leave that comment respectfully, that's fine. I'm just telling you how it was. So the reason probably that it's gone down is because mine are down. Mine at the moment, it is 300 or 250 for a Delta Force of... I don't have one on me because they are... I'm nearly out, to be honest with you. I've got some here, but they're not They're not sellable. They're looking like shit. Like, the ones I've got left are a little bit worse for wear, for example. But they're this size, roughly, right? So a lot of them have been bigger going out, don't get me wrong. But they're generally that size. And I've had them a long time. But I think the reason it's come down is because that's happened. And what I was getting at is with tissue culture, this is going to happen every single time. It's something, it's an elephant in the room that us sellers really don't want to talk about. We really don't want to talk about it, but there's not a lot of point in not. The reason we don't want to talk about it is because we don't want to admit that the market is tanking in this way this quickly. And it just is what it is. And you know what? It will come back around. I don't mean with Delta Force. I mean like houseplants in general. This will come back around again, probably in two, three years. And I think in terms of all the shops that understanding if you can weather the next two to three years good do we need to do to adapt everything else it will probably come back around because this shit always does this shit always does but until then the market is very much going to be like this if I could give you advice, if you're a shop, maybe switch to variegates for a while, sell more of those, whatever have you. If you're going to invest in plants, maybe those sell tissue culture plants. Why not? Just be prepared for the prices to change quite quickly. But TC Delta Force has been an interesting one because I, I had mine, but obviously a few other people had theirs as well. So there's been a bit of a... Ooh. So that's the tea on that. I did tissue culture Delta Force and... It is absolutely from my mother plant because you have to tissue culture and theorem slightly differently. So it had to be timed at a certain time to send the right material off in the right condition. If you know how to tissue culture and theorem, then you know what I'm talking about. Not that it's a secret, just not really relevant. Um, and I did that and I still have some. I don't really have some now. I think most of them are gone, to be honest. I feel like I have another tray, you know, but I can't see it. Some spiritus over there that I've had for like yonks. Um, I do have some, but I think we might be nearly out. I got rid of them all. Fuck me, have I? I've got longer lobatum in the back as well. Literally, I've got philodendron longer lobatum. I don't even think I can pull them out because they're just going to be stuck with everything, can I? Oh, I'd love to pull at least one out. No, I can't. They've, they've been there a long time, right? I don't just get them in and out. They, they still stay here a long time because I got those longer lobatum as plants this big. They're tissue culture, right? But... <sighs> I can't do much about people saying, oh, I don't want to buy a TC. It's like, that's fine. That's fine. Not all my plants here are TC, obviously. I think you'd know by now. But it is what it is. And I don't think you can really avoid it. 
And I think most of the plants in your collection are probably tissue cultured, even if you don't think they are. And it's weird because people have a real big problem with all the rare stuff being like that. And I'm not really sure why, because, oh God, if I could just pick a plant, pick a plant. How many of you have an Alocasia fry deck or a Zabrina or a Philodendron? Fuck Philodendron Gloriosum at this point. Monstera Thai Constellation, nearly any big paddly Philodendron, um, Philodendron Luxuriance, Plowmanii. What else have I seen recently? Fuck, you name it, guys. Any Calathea, any Monstera Deliciosa, fucking anything at all. It's tissue cultured. If I, I, I can't, I can't put this any other way and I'm not trying to be a dick. I promise you I'm not. I just, I'm struggling to see the point. I really am. And y'all can't be saying it's weaker because honestly, if it's in a fucking garden center, it's good shit, right? We know this. Yes, certain plants are harder to look after, right? Completely get that. Literally, alocasia, for example, I don't do well with them. I find them quite difficult. Some people are a whiz, but generally, I think alocasia are a bit more difficult, right? But the fact that they're in a garden center, they're good, and they've come from tissue culture. They've Maybe maybe people didn't know. Maybe people didn't know. I, I, I suspect that a lot of people think that stuff from garden centers, even boutique plant shops, because that's where they've ordered it from, by the way. Um, maybe they, they have this image in their head of like loads of big nurseries where they go along spreading seeds or doing cuttings and stuff like that. And don't wrong, certain plants, yes, I know that, especially with variegates. Variegated monstera is from a cutting of a tissue cultured plant. But um, like a lot of plants, yes, some of it will be cuttings. But because tissue culture is catching up so insane, fast because companies are catching on. Most of it is tissue culture now. Most of it is. And I tell you something, all this is doing, I'm not denying anybody's point. I just need you guys to know that all this is doing is making more sellers abroad straight up lie to you because th like they can't all see that y'all aren't saying, oh my God, it's TC, Ugh, treating it like it's like super dirty or whatever. All that's going to happen guys is you're going to get every seller on the planet saying everything is seed grown. So I respect your decision to not buy tissue culture if that's something that's important to you. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody's decisions or anything. It's just, you're probably going to end up with it anyway um, because the the speed in production from seed is very, very different. I think, pro tip, because I'm not about trying to say, oh, just buy TC anyway, just resign yourself to it. If you really want seed grown stuff, I think you need someone, <sighs> someone with a proven proven record of seed growing and stuff or someone super local that you know is making seeds, someone that has recorded the seed process, you know, how many seeds roughly they have, like it's documented. If you really are serious, serious about getting seeds, you're going to have to find someone that's heavily documented that. And even then, by the way, it's not like someone can't just have, I don't know, I would say spiritus, it doesn't really apply. Let's just use Delta Force again. Someone that doesn't have one, but is also doing that anyway. And just saying, hi, here's five seeds. I have five, you know. We're not in much of a different climate from what we were. Sellers have just had to try and, but they can't hide tissue culture from us anymore. All they've had to do is be the fastest. And this is why you are seeing just huge, huge drops on price quickly because all these people at the top are just racing each other and they're all just, they've, they've made so much of it, right? So you've got seller A with a thousand Delta Force, seller B with a thousand Delta Force and we're all just trying to fucking race each other to get the most profit out of it. And it is what it is, right? I understand it's plants. I understand everyone thinks that plants shouldn't be excluded from this and they sh some people think they should be free and everything else, but it's it's a business, it's a commodity, it's how it works. It's how this whole industry is ticking right now. Obviously, Thailand is racing Indonesia. They have been for a long time. I feel icky talking about it, but I feel like nobody else will. So I may as well, even though I'm in it and I'm just being literally completely honest with you. It's just how it works. I can't, I can't really hate on it because I I'd be being hypocritical anyway because I'm in that game. Specifically with Delta Force, obviously I have my own production of it. You know, it, it doesn't, it's not coming in here every day. It comes in in batches, obviously. Um, and it will probably be the price it is for a while because it's, that's quite low. But it, I can't say much other than it is what it is. If, if I've genuinely fucked up by not um, explicitly stating that, then I genuinely, genuinely, I can't touch my heart because I've got mic and stuff on. I hand on heart apologize for that, guys. I do. And I will do better going forward. But the rest of what I'm saying stands, if that makes sense. Now, that was big and meaty, big and meaty. And I'm sure I've got some reactions from that. So not meaning to offend you. I just feel like it's just a conversation that needs to be had if people didn't know. Sorry, I can hear something really weird going down my unit. Um, it's just a conversation that needs to be had and people need to understand how it is because that's how it is. And I'm telling you straight, it's not changing because there's too much demand and TC is just cheaper. It's cheaper to buy the one plant and just tissue culture the hell out of it. It's quicker than what I'm doing. Like I'm going to have to adapt soon because this isn't quick enough. Do you know what I mean? Even the quick ones aren't quick enough. Depends what you've got. If you've got something that other people maybe don't, case of this, great. 
if you do. Tough one, tough one, basically. And I feel like the way that most modern shops are going to have to adapt is to buy in TC and to move it out. And then you get back into the whole, oh, but is it flipping? Because it's coming, then it's out. You know what I mean? We're, we're going around in a very circular thing here. Um, I would love to know your opinions on all of this. Criticism, absolutely welcome, 100%. Apologies if I haven't made a point properly. I'm kind of winging this. and I haven't filmed in a while, so my thoughts aren't, they're not coming through in the way that they would normally come through. I'm a bit like scrambled eggs today. But that is is essentially it that's kind of my opinion slash reasoning slash um a theoretical apology i'm not i'm not really apologizing for anything i'm more just saying hey if i've done this and it was wrong then i will do better you know i, I don't have been asked to apologize for anything and i think only a few people have said something but i thought i'd tackle it anyway because i'm not in the habit of not doing that so let me know what you think but i think that's a pretty big elephant in the room so now <laughs> we'll talk about some relationship stuff, I suppose. Or at least that's what you guys kind of said. Let me just check how long we've been recording. This is longer than expected. Oof, it is. I am sorry, guys. But you know what? I haven't filmed last week, so I'm sure you'll be fine with it. Sorry, if you wonder what I'm doing, I have a remote that's pointing at the camera. My, uh, my wonderful Anthurium does not have the ability to film for me, which if it did, that'd be great. Right. Okay, so I'm now going to talk about... Uh, Something I don't usually talk about, something I don't usually talk about, but it is nearest and dearest to my heart at the moment. So I'm going to talk about me. <laughs> uh, not that I haven't already. Uh, a little bit more relationshipy, maybe. So if that's not for you, kindly click away. That's fine. You can leave your comment about the Delta or whatever else. And then thank you for listening, I guess. So I have two questions. The first one, it's, ah, this is hard because I don't, I don't talk about my personal life. Sorry, I realize I've done, I've done none of this. I don't talk about my personal life. Um, I don't even know if I could give you the reasons why I don't. I just, I worry about bringing people into this shit, right? But it's less shit now than what it was. And I think a lot of time I've been, I've been kind of burnt a bit. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I've been a little bit burnt from the whole 2020 thing where everyone was real, real fucking nasty. So, you know, my DMs are still off. The stuff I won't talk about, things like that. I feel a little bit better about it. Not that I'm ever going to share everything I ever do, but it'd be nice to not have to hide everything all the time. Do you know what I mean? It would be nice. Just be nice to live that way, I think. And this is part of a, <laughs> this is part of a much bigger thing, let me tell you. But there's two questions people ask me anyway. The first one is, I, I don't know if I'm, if I'm like literally directly quoting you, but it was something to do with my Rainbow Club membership. And, uh, it's, it's relevant, to be honest. I won't lie, it is relevant. Um, I've always had a Rainbow Club membership. If no one knows what I'm talking about, um, I'm just going to be cryptic for the fun of it, I suppose. I feel a bit more comfortable about it that way. Um, so if someone wants to know what I'm talking about, literally, you can leave a comment and someone will answer you as to what I'm talking about if that comment is lost on you. But I've always had a membership, you see. I don't know if I should have done that. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I've always had a membership to the club. It was just more of like a... <sighs> A bronze or a silver club membership. You know what I mean? I feel like 50% of my audience ears might be pricking up real soon. But I've always had a bit of a membership to it. But I think I've recently sort of upgraded my membership. If you see what I am getting at. Two minutes. I need to make sure I don't cut this wrong. Oh, it's really nice that. That's going to make a beautiful cutting. Look at this. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done this, by the way. Totally going to own up to it. You shouldn't really make cuttings when you have a leaf unfurling. Not saying it's not something you can't do, but a lot of the times the leaf will abort. It just will. It's not the best thing to do. If you're going to cut something, especially high value, I would actually wait till that leaf's hardened and then come in and make your cut. I'm not doing that. But, you know, I'd rather do it so you didn't have to. So you can learn these things. And I only learned these things by doing it wrong. So there you go. See, I've always had a... That's all green. A silver... Bronze or silver membership. I was definitely born with some sort of membership. I'll tell you that. I've always known something. Like, literally from being... Wow. So young. So young. Like, six. Six years old. I knew I was sort of different, shall we say. But throughout my life, I have been somewhat, can you see how this ties into the tattoo? I've been somewhat dissuaded from living my life, perhaps how I always should have lived it. I know you know what I'm saying here, guys, but for now, we will keep it cryptic, okay? Because I'm trying to ease family into this as well, so, and I, and this is awkward for me. This is awkward for me, parents, because I know you watch my videos occasionally, and I don't know if you've watched this one or not. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. This is slightly awkward for me. Two seconds, my mic has just shifted down my waistband. I don't have pockets, so I've had to lodge my mic pack in my waistband and it's just dropped down there we go oh no stay please stay 
Right, there we go. So I'm, I'm trying to be a bit more, I don't want to say delicate, I'm just, I'm just trying to be, I don't know, insert word here, not respectful, nothing like that, just, just subtle, maybe. But yeah, I've always thought about living my life a certain way, and every so often I will try and live my life a certain way, but something always comes along. And if anyone wants a proper video on this, I will do it. I don't know if I should wait till a certain time of year. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but it's, I'm on a bit of a, a journey of self-discovery at the minute and I'm having it at 34 guys. I'm having it at 34, 34 years old. You know what? Some people have been older though. So I'm kind of pleased it's happening now. Excuse me, unit. It was very noisy. I'm kind of pleased it's happening now, but at the same time, it's quite a long time, you know? So uh, essentially, uh, the Rainbow Club is, uh, it's going very well. Uh, my membership is, I think, upgraded, I would say. So I've got a better membership than I had before, we should say. Um, I don't know what else I can say on the subject, really. Yeah, I suppose you can either read through it or you can't. Where am I going to cut this? This is uh, this is not ideal. These are two white heads on here. Uh, let's cut the white heads off. I'm expecting these to die, by the way. These two. But we have a half and half. And this again. This again, guys. Pause. Pause what we're talking about. This is why I don't like half and half, half moon situations. Yes, I will say it on every video ever. Yes, I will. Of course I will. So this was half and half here. Beautiful. Lovely. Love that. And I've just cut that. This is what's grown from it. Two all variegates. This is the thing I complain about all the time. I promise I'm not making shit up. This is a problem. It can go well for you. Probably not going to go. Probably not going to. Don't, don't go for this. I honestly just don't. Just don't. Get something else. Get something else. Be better for you in the long run, especially if you're trying to invest in it. And to be honest, it don't, you don't even have to invest in it. You can't grow this. If you just want this in your living room to look nice, you can't grow this either. This will die. I'm probably not even going to pot it. You know what? I'm not even going to pot it. There you go. It's going to die. There we go. No fucks given today, guys. Literally no fucks given. Got a pepper army stuck in one of my teeth. It's doing my head in. Right. I think that um, the subscriber loss from this video is going to be fucking immense. <laughs> Because I'm talking about TC, which is inflammatory enough, and then I'm talking about Rainbow Club stuff. So please uh, watch with me. My subscriber can't go down. No fucks given. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what? Sorry. Yeah, I just got distracted because this leaf's come out really weird. So yeah, going better than ever. Can't give you too much detail. I'm sure you can read between the lines. It's gone really well. I probably feel happier than I've felt in a long time, if I'm honest. Definitely. Hi. <laughs> so that's that. Let me just work out where to cut here. Mmm. I'll cut there because it's got roots. Sorry, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but let's be honest. When when can you ever? When can you ever? These videos are an absolute scam, honestly. If anyone's going to uh, accuse me of being a scammer, I strongly suggest you do it with these videos because I say that it's going to be remotely planty and then it just isn't. But never mind. So the second thing is even harder. Um, so <laughs> I'm actually nervous. The second thing is time for a serious relationship. So it's not quite the question I thought it was. I feel calmer now. Do I have time for a serious relationship? Now, this is something that I've always said. I haven't always said no. That's, that's a lie. You wouldn't even know that. I've always thought no for a long time, since about 2019, maybe. A long, long time. I've just thought, God, I don't have time. Don't need it. Don't need the stress. I, a lot of the time, I couldn't, I didn't want to think about, like, hey, if I had a relationship and I had a breakup, like, I'm the kind of person where everything does crumble, so all work and everything would stop and, you know, business would go down and I can't have that. So definitely previously, by the way, same problem. All yellow, half moon, fuck you. Um, definitely previously, I would say I didn't have time for it. Now I feel like potentially I do have the time for it. Um, I certainly want the time for it. I guess that's the answer, right? I want time for it. I'm, I'm ready for it now, I think. I wasn't ready before, but I'm absolutely ready for it now. Um, so I feel like I'm progressing towards that, shall we say? Um, oh, this is nice. Are you doing it again? No, it's gone back the other way. Thank God. Look at that. We've gone the opposite way. We've finally done the incredible. We've gone from full to half. Ooh, honestly, these fucking plants do my head in. I absolutely do my head in. I don't like them. So yeah, I, I, I do have time. I mean, certain things have slipped recently. Some of it has been due to traveling. Some of it has been due to that kind of thing. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Um, some of it's been illness. There's genuinely, in terms of missing a couple of uploads here and there, there's actually a few reasons why, to be honest. Um, some of it is me prioritizing my time for other things. So 
And I think that's important because you know what? I've dedicated, and not that I'm not going to keep dedicating, but I've dedicated years to this channel and this channel has come before relationships in the past. Um, I had a relationship breakdown. My last relationship broke down for a few reasons, shall we say. There's a lot. There's, it's quite complicated. I still think the world of the person literally can't fault you. Can't fault you. Um, but it broke down for a few reasons, but definitely some of it was was work um, and this shop. I I don't want to say I lost the relationship due to this shop, but it, it this shop shop meant that it I, I wouldn't necessarily get it back if you know what I mean once I lost it it wasn't really it, I couldn't go back I just couldn't go back no one's really going to understand what that means unless you are the person that I'm talking about but it, it was the shop ended up being a sell your soul to the devil type vibe and I don't want that anymore I want to move past that I really do I can't can't live like that man Fair, I like having my own house my horse my little kitty cats but it does feel like there's a little something missing you know it does I, d I want more than that, I think. I'm 34. I'm trying to not find out who I am. I mean, there's elements of it, but generally I'm just trying to be who I was supposed to be at 11, at 21, at 31. Do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to do that. So I definitely want the time. That's for sure. What am I going to do with this? This looks really nice. Should I not sell this? Ooh, I don't... Give me a moment. I need to really think about this. Variegation's gone down. No, I'm going to propagate it one more time. And then, and then I'll sell it because that, that might might fire off more there. So I've made my decision now. So that's that. Right, here's me thinking I'm gonna get through all of these trades, but I honestly feel like I've actually kept you long enough and all I've done is that. That's pretty shameful if I've ever said so. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know how to talk about that yet. I find that quite difficult because I've always kept everything so private and it's not, this isn't me saying, oh, I'm not going to be private anymore. I just, I just have this overwhelming want and it is part of something deeper. Honestly, it is. It's part of just being proud of who I am, but I just kind of want to, I wish I could live more normally with private stuff. Like I, I really do. I would love that for me. I would love that for me. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know. I need, I need some time with that. Um, not that I'm ever going to be the person that just stands here and tells you everything that's going on in my private life. That's never going to happen because that's not who I am and I don't like that. But it'd be nice to just not have to completely have an iron gate on it and just be a bit more relaxed. You know, if I post something online but someone happens to see it or something, that that kind of thing. I don't mean like, oh, I want to be able to tell you everything. You know what I mean? I just want to live normally offline. And I think the problem for me is, in fact, that's that's literally my problem. I've just, I've come to this the right the right conclusion as I'm saying it the problem is I can't live how I want to live offline and believe me this goes so deep you will probably never know but I want to be able to live life properly offline as well and I don't feel like I can because I have this really weird fear that someone's going to come along and fuck it up or not not be judged for it or anything but just I don't want any potential partners or anything to suffer anything that I've ever suffered because it, it is really bad and I know I don't talk about it much but I, I will carry the events of 2020 with me throughout my entire YouTube career going forward. Will I get over it? Yes. I kind of am over it, I suppose. Just left behind some quirks, I guess. Um, let it be a lesson that stuff on the internet can genuinely affect you going forward, because it has for me. But I, I'm just kind of feeling out, guys. I want to see how it goes, but please know that things are definitely looking up for me. They are, because I've had a fucking shit three years, have I not? I just feel like it's one thing after another. But I feel like things are slowly now clicking into place, so I guess watch this space. <sighs> I don't know how to tackle this really. You could still ask me questions like, you know, when I open up reports, you could still ask me like, hey, what about this? And I'll either answer it or I won't. So don't feel like that you can't at all. That's fine. Just ask me and I'll either pick the question or I won't because I keep you guys anonymous anyway. I've done that for a long time. Even when people say bad things, I don't. I know a lot of YouTubers when they get... Um, repot questions and stuff they will put like a box of who's saying what i will never do that you could say some horrible things and believe me people have people have um but i'm not gonna come for anybody so you can ask me what you want really and I either will or won't answer it and if i do answer it no one's gonna know you asked it so up to you i guess uh, we'll just see how it goes but watch this space watch my arm grow because it probably will i literally i want to book this in in the next month this has to heal this is like two days old uh, but i definitely want some stuff here maybe just some more of these little pieces of flowers i hope you can see this just little bits here on here um maybe a couple of because this is quite harsh here a couple of leaves added on here and stuff maybe a little bit there but not really because that's softer than this side and just just a little bit more and then i need to plan what's going on up here as well and then but my plan after that is actually my 
I would say my leg, but it's one of those big tattoos where it like goes up your thigh, then like up the side of your glute and up your hip. I want one of those as well. So, ooh, stay tuned, stay tuned. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, thank you for watching this. Honestly, this this is this has been a blast. This one, <laughs> in a weird way. Um, I actually feel drained from this one, which never happens ever. And I have to do a whole day of work now. Um, but thank you for watching this. I I am being very serious when I say you can leave me criticism, not on the bit I've just talked about. Uh, the other bit, the TC bit, that's fine. Um, I will genuinely openly accept criticism as long as it's delivered nicely. Um, and that's kind of it, really. Uh, uploads should be back to normal now. I will be filming some more this weekend. We're on Wednesday now, and you're seeing this on the Friday. Um, uploads should be back to normal, so you should see some normal content very, very soon. As soon as I get around to it, just have to sort some shit out here. Because I've been very busy with rescue boxes. Very, very busy, so... That's the reason for that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please leave all comments you'd like to, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.